So be warned. <laughs> I did that to a lady a couple of months ago and she, she got really mad at me. Did but 4,000 4, shows, you know, I don't think I made too many people mad, but <laughs> yeah, she got a little upset because we were, well, you know how I start the show just like this, right? We're just talking. And then at some point, you know, when the people get in here, they're not yet. Um, you know, I'll say, hey, you know, I'll roll the show out formally. Well, she didn't know and we were talking and she didn't like that. Oh, <laughs> so, and I'm sorry, lady, <laughs> ma'am, sister. Yeah. Here, let, me, let me tag you on here. Okay. Uh, Okay, here we go. All right, so I really, and I want to tell you too, I, I don't know who did it, but I really like the cover of your book. I thought that was really cool. Oh, I'm going to have to. Well, thank you. It was um, aimed at the divine feminine. So yeah, I wanted to just ascend and plug into the universal energy and take, and it, take its own journey. Um, now, um, okay, so let's, we're, we're a little bit, rushed here not rushed but i mean i usually wait till the two minute mark but uh and i rather the well yeah they, they get, yeah let's wait another 45 seconds here i am you can start now <laughs> diane miller here i am you can start now um okay and then and the name of the book is what i, I can't remember right now uh something that finding the, your divinity yeah i knew divine was in it Finding yeah. your divinity. Oh, there, yeah. Let me see that. I like the uh, the cover. And now you're saying that that it was inspired. You wanted to give the the energy of the divine feminine, or for you, what was that? What it was? Yeah, because I, because we're moving into the divine feminine, the heart energy. Oh, yeah. I wanted to pull that through, and mm -hmm. although everybody's on their own journey, it sort of helped them to helps them to elevate the ascension process and give them a guideline and um, to really open up from the heart into the expansion of taking themselves into the universe and working with that shared energy. So yeah. when we get into the dreaded word lockdown, I felt that I wanted to consolidate that time mm. and go deeper inwards inside myself to actually bring out what needed to come out to share with the universe. <laughs> Right on. Yeah. Um, well, you know, what I what I find uh, interesting about it is that, um, so, you, you know, you see a lot of books, uh, you know, a lot of things are put out there um, mm -hmm. explaining this and, and trying to share, you know, what an individual has experienced and downloaded and lived and all that. And so there's a lot of different um, elements to it. And of course, we know that the if we speak in terms of energy, just to keep it as simple as possible, uh, we know that the feminine energy was um, suppressed in all suppressed. of us, the mother goddess yeah. energy. Um, what I find intriguing about your your what you're saying, what you're alluding to with the book, uh, is you're actually approaching this. It has a picture, an image of a female on the front with her arms up. It looks beautiful, and I get that. Uh, but you're actually you're actually speaking to the feminine in everyone that's because correct. that's really the same for everyone, just as it is for the earth and for what has been what people call the matrix, which I personally think is, is us. <laughs> so as we transform, it transforms. But um, yeah, and I think that's really cool. I think that's really cool. Yeah. And it alludes to the the reaching out is to plug in into it's called the ego eradicator in kundalini so okay. we not only plug in from the roots down from the feet to the earth but we plug into that infinitesimal information that's accessible to all of us and this is just to guide you along that journey really so i've been working with a few people alongside the book who've bought the book with doing a coaching for every chapter, either every month or every week or mm. every day if you wanted to. And they said it's really elevated them and taken them to another level. So it's really inspiring that it's 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 taken on its own journey of its own, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, because it, it becomes a consciousness in itself, right? These third energies, these things yeah. that are birthed, that we birth, yeah. their own little universes. I mean, everything is, everything's got, in, well, everything's energy. And, and I guess you could say, you know, I know there's people that make a distinction between energy and consciousness. 
you know, like you hear that in science. There's, you know, some people say consciousness is not in part of science, and some say it is. But, but the whole point is, you, we put it out there. It's a living, it's a living thing. It's a part of us. It's a, it's a part of many things. Like you said, you've got people working besides you now. They, they contribute to that 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 energy, right? I mean, it, you know what I mean. It could go, was, yeah, like a course of miracles. You know, it could go like, yeah. you know, just yeah. Where would you um, have me go? What would you have me say unto whom? You know, that's the essence of it, really. The book is called, uh, I'm sorry, she's, they asked me, uh, oh. Finding Your Divinity. There Finding it is right there. Divinity. Finding Your Divinity, Judy Dyer. Not uh, virginity. <laughs> <laughs> not virginity. Finding Your Virginity. I found my virginity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I lost mine somewhere uh, else. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay. So, um, you, so this was kind of catalyzed to a degree by the whatever that was. <laughs> well, yes. In, in 2020, 21, and 22. Uh, but how was that? Now, I understand that that it put put us all in a place, obviously, of lockdown. Mm. And, mm -hmm. and you, you, it sounds like what you did was like, you, you're, I'm going to put this to, to use. I'm going to take this time and I'm mm -hmm. going to throw myself into this create, creative process and, and, and you produce this book. How did the, the whole situation affect you? I'm just curious, you know, mm -hmm. uh, how did the whole situation affect your rhythm or affect you uh, otherwise? Well, it made me retract inside myself and I'm, I think from listening to a lot of the guys on the show that went into solitude really mm. in my own way not in the fact of because nobody locks nobody puts Judy in the corner you know nobody puts baby in the corner is the fact none of it just right from the beginning seemed any truth in it at all and it's been proven that it you know was a right. total huge lie right but by making me go deeper inside myself the consciousness working with the universal energy just was like little messages coming out of me and i can only speak now with people like people on this program and your listeners and the people that come on to speak is that i can't mix with anybody of a lesser consciousness right lower it's energy can't do it at all. I feel sick when I pick up and see a newspaper and I'm going to do yeah. my shopping. So I hear anything on the radio in the car to switch it off. So we're on this high vibration leading to this world of ascension that we're all in the midst of at this moment in time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. A lot of people, uh, enough people <laughs> that I've, that I've come across, uh, have said the same thing, uh, not trying to be in judgment, not taking on, you know, trying to, because we're all coming out of this thing. We've all got programs and, and we're, we're bringing them into alignment, but you know, not, not from a position of superiority. We don't, we know that. Uh, but yeah, it is, you know, people talked about the two earths and the bifurcation and, and, you know, the, the great divide. And, uh, and I think, that's what we're referring to. Uh, people are having difficulty remaining in, uh, for any period of time, remaining in that type of environment. Yeah, and I think that lady else that was on your show last week, she talked about the arc, about we're all an arc yeah. within ourselves and the body of water that she was talking from about tree to tree. And that's what we are in this network of your arena that you're bringing people in to the arc yeah. and that we'll all be metaphorically holding hands and swimming together to capture this new earth that we're moving into yeah it's and now we're <laughs> yeah. where are you at in england where are you i'm right in the heart of it in nottingham oh you're yeah. nottingham okay and you, and you're still are you still pretty much in solitude? I mean, like I'm I'm down in Houston and um, for a couple of months, and I've got daughters that live here, and and uh, I'm in like you know one block over from like 
the, the old main street. So there's lots of restaurants, stores and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I, I, and I go for walks two or three times a day. So I do go to the coffee shop. I see my daughter. She introduced me to people. Some of them watch the show and they want to talk to me the first time, you know, we, we meet and, 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 uh, and I've, I've had that too. Like, mm-hmm. you know, the first couple of times I got out of there real quick, you know, cause I do stay busy and I come back and I back and mm. forth, whatever. But, but I, then I realized there was this internal dialogue going on. Like, I don't want to be here. I don't, uh, this yes. is making my ears hurt. Now these yeah. are young eclectic people and they they're pretty progressive and open, but <clears throat> I started having this little kind of thing where I was like, okay, um, stay here as an exercise, hmm. work your way through it. And it was like, just ultimately, I guess the shortest way to say it is see their soul, see their soul. We're all subject to the same programming. Da, 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 da. So I think there's some real high level fine tuning going on with our, our sensitivity to our fields of resonance and what we can and can't do yet remain in integrity. Yeah. It's you know like I mean? we've been all re- rewired in a way. Completely yeah. rewired. And I used to go dancing all the time. I love to dance. And because of all the stupid rules that were brought in, you can't, you got to dance in the square. You've got, you know, you got to wear it. I'm Are you kidding? No. And it was like, I used to want to dance close to someone if I'm going to dance. And it sort of um, segregated me from, express mm. myself through dance but i do teach pilates and kundalini yoga that's another way of expression wow but it's also helping keep people <clears throat> strong through the pilates i've been teaching a couple of hours ago tonight and it is about holding this beautiful body together in a way knit it back together and the kundalini is all about the the mantra the movement and the meditation all rolled into one the mantra, so, the movement, and the meditation. Because oh, I was going to ask you what, what, because I know there's quite a few different ones, but what is mm-hmm. Kundalini Yoga? So it's the, the mantra, the movement, and what? Meditation, the three M's. The, <laughs> right. the mantra, the movement, and the meditation. And the meditation. Like yeah, I like that. The mantra. So, so you yeah. actually say mantras while you're in the meditation and the movement? Yeah, the mantra is the spoken, speaking to the universe. And right. the Kundalini Yoga, it, it's, what we call the golden chain. And I feel like your show is like the golden chain, the pathway to the gold. Mm. And so the mantra is being heard by metaphorically everyone who's on that wavelength. I got you. I got you. I see what you're it's saying. Speaking through the heart and dropping into the heart energy. So we're moving from the heart. We're not thinking from the the brain. We have to think logically, but through the heart, everything comes through because that's the conductor of the orchestra the commander in chief hmm. of the body. So if we always come back to the breath and the heart, our life will be more trans transient in a way. Yeah. Well, and then of course the within without too. Like last night, I've always had an interest in Tai Chi. I've never really done it for more than like a day or two. Hmm. But everything's changing. I've fasted three of the last four Mondays and uh don't even know why you're you know doing these things where we're doing these things the bodies are really starting to speak to us um but i was looking uh i was watching this tai chi these tai chi videos that a friend of mine had sent me a long time ago that's that's deep into it and uh i guess i wasn't ready for it but a lot of what you're talking about was coming through like it wasn't like something i could explain but it was it was like i i was getting the message of the movement and what it does like there was a there was a uh, part of one of the videos where the master is uh, five hits himself five times up and down the arm mm-hmm. right and, and, he, and he does it a few times a few repetitions and and then he starts to discuss what it does right it wakes up and, a certain energy yeah. within each part of yeah. the body and um yeah. a lot of the tapping is done like that yeah. with the what it's called now to put my head yeah um, oh uh kines- no, but kinesiology sort of oh style. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah but um well and i and i and the reason i brought it up is and i was just curious as what your thoughts were i didn't realize that you 
were you've been teaching Pilates and Kundalini yoga. Uh, so that's a totally different perspective. But uh, last year, I can remember doing the shows that people started talking about and I talked about it. And, and you know, it was just one of the things that came up last year, which what's going on with the body? You know, people are like, I can't eat this anymore. And, and this is mm. happening and that's happening. And mm. and and uh, and it it feels like that once we got into January, the, into this year, everything really, really just shifted. I mean, like, boom. Absolutely. You know, and and uh, and that the body's voice got louder. So I started telling people what I was hearing and, you know, I'm giving up some some habits that I knew were going away and and something's going on. And, you know, I'm, I'm even when I'm eating, I'm only eating like a third of what I used to. I'm t I just talked to a, uh, a friend of mine. Uh, well, they're both friends of mine, uh, but I was talking to the wife and, uh, you know, my friend, he, he went into some deep, deep cleansing, uh, 22 days of fasting and um, lost a bunch of weight. And, you know, there's just all this going on. But my point is, is the, 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 the voice of the body, or even you could even say the consciousness of the body, it, it, I know there's layers, but the most physical, the most dense, is actually integrating with what we might call the soul or the multidimensionality or whatever, um, almost like it's the last part of us coming online. Yeah. Have you um, had these, have you mm -hmm. had these uh, experiences or does this resonate with you, with you and or with what you're seeing with your clients? Well, I encourage people to eat very consciously now and everything, that, to feel that the consciousness of the food, to feel the consciousness of the water, to feel the consciousness of everything before we put it into the body is to feel, feel it as opposed to see it. Mm. So... And really being selective because your body will talk to you about what you need to go with that or encourage right. more of and lots of more smoothies. And so you're not putting too much pressure onto the body, really, but you still need the energy yeah. to, to work with the rest of what's going on to cope with it. So and to be in the present moment, to really be in the present moment every time and to love the food before you put it. I was... I'm not vegetarian, but if I think I like eating a chicken or a piece of fish or anything like that, I always give it gratitude for the journey it's taken to get to me to get to my plate before I put it into my body. And so I'm thinking far more consciously than I've ever, ever done in my life. Right. That's mm. what I'm talking about. Mm. Like what you're describing, I, I know I can relate to a little bit of that. I'm sure other people can, uh, but for me, it, wasn't like conscious. I've heard people say that too. And I've done it from time to time. Like even going back when I woke up and I was eating at McDonald's and I was living on the street, you know, I would, I would, I didn't realize, I mean, I, I was alchemizing in my mind, I was alchemizing the food because it's all I could have, could get. Yeah. Right. But it's interesting. And, and, Sorry, go on. Yeah. Well, I was just going to say that like now as I look, you know, um, like when Morgan and I lived together, She's eating salads and eating like a bird, you know, and I'm eating three times a day and two snacks. And I'm not that I don't like salads. I like a salad. But to, mm. to go from where I've been mm. to eating salads and soup and fasting and coconut water and mineral mm. water, and mm. uh, it's not like I knew what to do is what I'm saying. It wasn't like, you know, something I sat and thought about. Um, no, no. It wasn't like a pre-meditation. It just, it just happened. It's like I knew in the moment. And so, what, what caught my eye with what you were saying was, I started like eating this lettuce, and I'm like, oh my God, this is good. This is. And I'm calling Morgan on the phone. I can't believe I'm eating salads, you know. And like, I don't know. There's something like we're tuning in or coming into alignment or something with the body. Yeah, and it was interesting through through the um, restrictions that. The places that were opening in the UK were fast food places and people rushing out there and they started doing deliveries because they wanted people to stay in their homes, but they wanted them to eat. They wanted to keep people in that low vibration, right. that suppression. So that was really interesting right? how that was going on. And it's still going on. Of course it is. I mean, all the elements are there. 
regardless of, of how much we're expanding and how much solidarity we're solidarity that we're forming as a, as a group, you know, mm. um, it's everywhere. It's, it's, it's the, you know, the social distancing. It was, it's the, it's the, the options that we have. That's what it is. The options are becoming more limited. So that's why you have this, you know, you look at Airbnb, you look at uh, Uber, those yeah. didn't just come out of some entrepreneurial ingenuity. <laughs> they came down as a program that was premeditated to reduce ownership to, you know what I mean? I mean, it's, and so, yeah, the food I think is huge. And uh, especially. Yeah, I just keep saying no to everything that's thrown at me. No, I'm not yeah. going to do it. No, you're not going to do this. No. And people have got to have that courage and people have yeah. A lot of people haven't had that courage and they need that encouragement to yeah. say no, if you like. Yeah. To have, yeah. have that belief. Yeah, and, it, and as soon as you think you do, <laughs> as soon as you think you're I'm good, another wave comes. Mm. And 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 more and more has to be, you know, more is mm. more faced with more. You know, Franco uh referred mm. to this time and mm. he talked about a lot of these things that are happening right now. Mm. And how they would be happening from the inside, how they would. One of the things that he talked about, for instance, is he said. It'll get to the point and it'll be a natural thing, mm. pretty much. I mean, well, I guess we can intercede or whatever. Um, but that like even going on the news feed or looking at a news feed or uh, be it mainstream or alter, that. Uh, there would so no longer be a connection. That, um, that it, it would not be something that would hold your attention. It's all low and vibration I, as well. It's all on a low vibration. Mm -hmm. And so it's the voices that are spoken through the TV, media, radio. They're all programmed to speak at that low vibration to keep even music. Modern music now is at yeah. a lower vibration. I, I know, you know, I, I, I walk mm -hmm. a lot, you know, and I love music and mm -hmm. um, I, got this too it's crazy too though how you just mentioned something and it and it triggers something uh, you know in a good way that happened to me very you know like in the last 24 hours this is happening to me every day on this show mm -hmm. but i was i was walking down you know what am i going to listen to i'm looking through my playlist all this stuff that i listened to that got me through the years right mm -hmm. and and all of a sudden i will go down one by one and and this would be like tupac or it'd be like Adagio with strings. I mean, a really broad yeah. range of music that yeah. I listen to, but yeah. most of the stuff, I was like, I was seeing something I'd never seen before, mm -hmm. and I could not listen to them. I couldn't yeah. listen to the Almond Brothers. I couldn't listen to the Beatles. I could. Yeah, I'm I like, agree. what is going on here? And, and it dawned on me that it was all pre-programmed or something. There's yes. something's in it that's not coming with us, and therefore, yeah, it's no, it, my time's up with it or something. I don't know. Me too. I've you've got to leave that behind in a way. Mm. It's like we're we all being refreshed. If you like, like your computer's refreshed. You've got to yeah. keep refreshing that button every day. We've got a new opportunity to re to get that refresh button. Well, we have the new operating system. Yeah, I think it's. I think yeah, that's what that. now. Exactly. What, what are your, What are your thoughts on this? Uh, it, with well, what a lot of people are putting out are, are enough people that that we all know. Are putting out um, that that the uh, well, one of the one of the narratives or one of the um, transmissions was um, on March the third that the five D will be fully a hundred percent online. That it's been gradually, you know, we can all see that, but like that it's fully a hundred percent online, and then through the narratives. Yes. Of the others talk about now we're getting used to it and we're going to start creating new things. Mm. What are your What are your thoughts on that? I think we're so close. I keep getting intuitive messages that really we're on that real cusp now of mm. this Kundalini awakening, if you like, to, to describe it to 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 align it to, and it's like the Earth's going to we're going to have that whoosh of. <laughs> Whether we're going to sleep, I don't know. I keep going into a, such a deep sleep. I, I feel like I've been drugged and it's leaking yeah. out and further and further out of this dimension into this other dimension. Maybe that's what 
because people are talking to them and we've done this. I mean, we have, this has come up before over the last, you know, two, three years or whatever, but the sleep thing uh, mm -hmm. has, I heard more people talk about it now. Mm -hmm. My daughter was on the talk show yesterday and she was talking about it. She's mm -hmm. like, I've been, she's like, I, she was telling the audience or whatever. I want to ask the audience, is everybody <laughs> sleeping a lot? And they're like, yeah, yeah. everybody's like, yes. Um, but I hadn't thought about maybe that's what it is. Maybe, maybe we're, we're kind of like bleeding into the other side. Mm. And at some point that's the, what people might call the, the event or whatever. Uh, and we, sh and we, our consciousness moves yeah. over there. Yeah. Because the Kundalini uh, uh, training if, uh, is that we're coming from the Piscean age, in, age into the Aquarian energy now mm. from the male dominated into this beautiful divine feminine even through the masculine as the divine feminine is coming through. Yeah. Well, I think another thing, and I want to talk about your book, the content of your book a little bit, um, because of the fact that, that it's uh, uh, the way that you're presenting it. Uh, and I really admire that uh, because I think that we've, we've had a lot of conversations, downloads, et cetera, et cetera, masculine and feminine over these last 10 years. Yeah, uh, it talk, talks about the book. It talks about loving who you are. Do you love yourself? And that's not in an ego way. Right. It used to be, oh, well, she really loves herself. Or, but now, do you really love yourself? It's a different connotation completely. Right. Yeah. You know, stroke yourself, treat yourself like a baby, put yourself in the bath, beautify yourself, just because your body's the vessel with we've been given to carry this soul um, through this lifetime. Yeah. So we have to nurture it and not abuse it and not, no offense taken, but uh, McDonald's, not stuff it with McDonald's really because, you know, the stuff that goes, the energy that goes into that. Oh, it's horrible. Is, yeah, it's it just horrible. makes me feel quite yeah. sick. But, Tini, so, I mean, yeah, <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong. No, I, you know, I mean, everybody I, I, likes a bit of junk now and again. Uh, but, I, I'm, you know. I don't think I can even do it anymore. Not any of them. No. no. I, even like uh, you know that there's a there's a pretty healthy chicken place nationally here in the U.S. Chick Fil A, but I can't do any of it. In fact, I'm finding that for me, uh, the cooking the food is really mm. I don't know. It's just like it's a it's a whole kind of production. Mm you know, like an activation or something. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Make it a part of a beautiful part of your day rather than having to rush your food and rush around mm -hmm. because I know we've all got commitments, but this, we've all got the same 24 hours. Mm -hmm. It's how we use, utilize that time. And if you, if you use it with respect, you will find you have more time in a way Yeah. because of what you're doing to your body. You'll have more energy anyway. Yeah. Um, the people that you communicate with, whether you go into, out into nature, suddenly things all become um, apparent in your life. <laughs> yeah. Well, the 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 oh, one of, yeah. Well, one of the things that's made an impression on me has been um, you mentioned energy level mm. has been has been I can see the direct relationship. Like I I really cut sugar out, mm. and it's you know, like a poison, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I you know, I, I uh, drink a little beer, so you know, cut that out, uh, and totally cut sugar out. Uh, I, I use honey. Um, I cut bread out because that had a lot of sugar, and I didn't even know that. <laughs> Sixty-one years old, I didn't know the breads got all sugar, processed sugar. So, uh, but what happened was, and I haven't had it happen in a couple, two, three days, but for like the first two or three weeks, a couple times a day, I'd start to feel really weird. Like, mm -hmm. like, and I knew it was sugar, you know, and I mm -hmm. asked Morgan about it. She's like, oh yeah, well that's going to happen. And now it's kind of gone away. But, but what I have noticed is that it, it was like the, you know, when I started doing this, uh, uh, the first week, I couldn't believe how much energy I had, how light mm -hmm. I felt. Mm -hmm. And, and the other thing was how there was a certain, uh, I don't want to say mental sharpness. Mm -hmm. I would put it more like, uh, something started turning on like i don't know how to say it but like move faster 
see clearer, hear mm -hmm. better. I mean, and mm -hmm. I know that sounds a bit far out there, but more acute, just, maybe more acute, more acute. Yeah. But I find I get shot, real surges of energy. Then I have to have like this sleep and then I have surges mm -hmm. a bit like a, a Labrador. I was calling myself. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, let's go yeah. for a walk. Right. Let's go for a sleep. Let's do this. Let's do it. I've got to go for a sleep. And, um, that's the way my body works. And you have to work with your body. Yeah. Um, you mentioned a, a minute ago about checking in and you're seeing that we're like on the cusp. Do you get collective information? Intuitively, I do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but not, I don't get like visitations like you got, some of you guys do. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, but there's, you know, so many different mm -hmm. pieces to this. That doesn't, mm -hmm. <laughs> people say that to me, I'm like, well, I can't do, I want to do that. I want to do what they do. <laughs> everybody wants to do what everybody else does. Uh, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no, I was just wondering because I was talking to a friend of mine and she's, she's, uh, uh, you know, carries like the same, different, but same type of energy. You know, uh, and she was just basically telling me, and, she, uh, you know, she's got a great story. I hope she comes on one day, but she's an auntie. You know, she's a she's an auntie. She's a grandmother energy. I mean, and she's saying, like, Todd, I don't know what to do now. Like, like, and she's tapped in. And she's like, uh, anything could happen. Uh, I don't even know. Like, I can't structure anything. Every time I try to make something happen, it, it just won't happen. And And it wasn't like, victim consciousness at all it was just right. there's something happening here it's bigger than all of us and 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 you know almost I, like our work is done and yeah but i think you can manifest things really quickly now you just like mm. think about something and it'll be like there within an hour or i'll say something and the phone will ring and it's just like it's, it's magical it's just like mm. you know what we were talking about earlier on about your new innovation that's coming along you know it's, it's it's manifesting this but it has to come along at the right time but then you can make it yeah. you can play with it you can, yeah i was only thinking of, about the show in december and i was thinking oh my gosh it's nearly three years since i came on before and i was thinking about how i could help you and hmm. can i afford to send this or that and then i thought about the book and uh, uh, for the listeners today i said everyone that would like to invest in the book is I'd like to give Todd a dollar or a pound wherever you live towards the contribution what I can give through my own work and That's I would beautiful. love to do that and if anybody could share that yeah it just, it's Where just a effect you know yeah well I mean it's it, mm. you know how 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 would we well it's like Judith Kuzel when she came out like three weeks ago Love Judy. I know she's like absolutely she's, love. She's her. such a warrior too. I would not want to oh. get in a bar fight. I would not want to get in a bar fight with Judy Kuzo. I think she's I listen to her for hours. Absolutely. Oh, she's amazing. But she was mm. she was basically saying it was a two hour show. She's like, mm. she went into that, you know, that whole <laughs> thing where she just started going, and then she goes, and basically it's just time to walk the talk. I'm like, yeah. that's it. Yeah. But yeah. I think that's that's what that's all leading up to. Take like, the fear away. It's to take the fear away and just, you know, I, I know I keep referring back to the Kundalini, but it takes you through the blocks. Yeah. It removes all the blocks in your life. So give us, uh, like, a, we talked about it a little bit, the book, uh, the book. Finding Your Divinity. And uh, and you said that it's a, it's got the picture of the, the feminine on the front. It's not directed at women only. It's actually no. directed at all of us. Uh, and it's directly addressing the parts of us that have been suppressed and that we're trying to find, right? Finding I mean, your voice is one of the chapters. Finding your voice is one of the chapters in there. That's okay. So, and that's kind of what I wanted to like dive into a little bit. Uh, because mm -hmm. like I said, I've not, I've not seen anybody put anything out like that. Not, mm -hmm. not like that. You see stuff on... The divine masculine, you see stuff on the divine feminine, obviously sacred union and all this other stuff. But, but because I, to me, the most right. useful code to me, to me, the most useful code is the human telling the story, telling you, as story. In, yes. you know what I mean. But as as yeah. with the information not being the only part of it, but actually 
this is how it felt. This is, this is what it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like boots on the ground. Mm -hmm. But so like you said, one of the chapters is about the voice. That's been talked about a lot too. Throat chakra, and, the suppression in the throat. Mm -hmm. It's the blue, it's the blue communication and everything in advertisements. <laughs> here it goes. Um, British Telecom, it's blue. Everything communicate is police cars, blue, blue, communicating a message. So if you want to put anything around your neck, a blue scarf or anything, or your surround here is blue, um, all about communicative. So it's talk about finding your voice, walk your talk, speak your truth, get away from the fear, the false evidence appearing real. Right. <clears throat> And people have been put in fear because that keeps them suppressed. So anybody that's in fear will do as they're told to a degree because they think, oh, well, if if um, if I go in there six feet of anybody, I might pass the thing on. You know, different things like that. But that's just communicating. But you don't have to communicate verbally sometimes. You can communicate with your eyes, your body language. You've got your magnetic field around you where you can throw your energy or just be your energy and have that beautiful aura around you and have that protective light. And right at the end today, I'd like to just share a protective mantra with you at the end. Yeah, of course. So yeah, everybody course. can take that away with them this evening <laughs> or today, wherever they're listening from. Mm. So that's yeah. one of the chapters. And then being truly amazing is another chapter, how to be truly amazing. Because we're all truly amazing, yeah. just that some of us don't realize it. Yeah, I think the the whole thing about the throat chakra, I've always been fascinated with it because uh, I look mm -hmm. at it. You know, you think that, and it probably is that the heart's mm -hmm. the center of the chakra channels, and it's the but, middle. That's the middle. Yeah, chakra. Yeah. yeah, but like to me, like there's always I've always kind of looked at this, you know, which I guess would be third eye, crown. Third eye. Or, um, you know, I've always kind of looked at that as like kind of like galactic, right? Yeah. yeah. That's Morgan. <laughs> and then this part's Todd, right? The low chakras. <laughs> but and then the heart's the heart. Yeah. But but that the voice has physical and non-physical elements. Perfect. And it has much more than than like just words. It has resonance and tone and vibration and and I've always felt like that was going to be key. Like this is going back a few years and I'm just mm -hmm. saying whatever came to my mind. Right. But now I'm really seeing that I'm seeing the power of, and you think of, Oh, speak your truth. Like, you know, stand up on the bully pulpit. No, I'm seeing people like you, you th this is kind of cool. I don't know if you saw this the other day. So, and I love, I love the way your book is, is uh, where it's coming from speaking mm -hmm. to that part of all of us. Right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> because one of the things I've noticed, and I, and I think we all knew it was coming, was we were going to start to see the real divine masculine, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? That's mm -hmm. not anything with these alpha, not what we've been, no. right? And so we had a guy come on the other day, and he wrote me, and he was like, I, I'm going to come on. I watched his show. It inspired me. Da, da, da. And he came on to talk about his sexual distortion, which was deep, deep, deep. But, the, but, I, but in that episode and, and a few things around it i saw this new mask mm. and uh and i and i wonder if that's something that's gonna really show itself you know you just said about the heart and the, the voice but then if we speak from the heart and mm. then people will hear that they'll hear the true yeah. message and yeah, then that's that, that one thing leads to another and that can encourage you to be truly amazing find mm. your voice be from the heart. What else have I got? What's your value? I talk about what's your value. Not your monetary value, but what's your true value in life? What do you value? And what value are you to the world? What value can you give to the world? Through the spoken word again. <laughs> Just by sharing these wonderful yeah. shows that you you know, you've been doing it five years, is it now? Six, something like that. Mm, see, the first ones we did were 2017. Mm. So really not too much of 20. And actually, this show, mm. probably probably 20, wait, well, not 2017, 2015. 2015. Really? And then the first where I brought someone else on, because I did like 400 
shows in nine or 400 lives in nine months. And then, you know, of course, I in, in the first live I did was five days before I met Morgan. So when Morgan came, everything changed. I mm-hmm. went from a loud, no shirt, do rag, you know, they burnt, they, they, 9 11 was a scam. And, you know, and, and then there was other stuff too, don't get me wrong, but something oh, yeah. happened. So the, the mm-hmm. show itself came from her and I talking. Mm-hmm. And we were like, like, it was like, you know, like three weeks into it. Well, well, well we should have us. Isn't it? Greater the essence, the essence of you, yeah. your, your love that you came uh-huh. together, which created another essence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so well, and the idea was, yeah, like the idea was, because like in 08, she she put up a prayer to the universe, said, uh, I would like to create a place that, that a platform that, that people share mm-hmm. their stories, experiences, skills, abilities, you know, mm-hmm. and, uh, and this and is so, it. <laughs> yeah yeah well yeah we had some other stuff happen down the line that kind of took us back in time and showed us how everything worked but but what i was getting at is we were talking like this and we said wouldn't this be cool because we were talking about things that were just coming out people were just starting and there wasn't a lot of lives there wasn't a lot of videos and uh if we would just replicate that and so that's that's kind of occurred and the reason i brought in the 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 feminine part of it was or when she came in it created a whole new perspective right Mm -hmm. and a whole new dialogue and a whole new you know and then the dance and then here we are today but um Mm -hmm. uh yeah you asked me something i forgot why we got into that but um yeah oh yeah it's 2000 so like 2016 16 17 18 19 20 21 has it been that long 22 seven years yeah seven years four thousand shows amazing Amazing. <laughs> yeah. mm. But um, uh, value. value and belief systems, you believe systems. If you believe you can, you can. If you believe you can't, you can't. You both yeah. be right, you know. Does, does, how does the, my friend Serena Smith, Ty's partner in Sedona, she has a room in that place that I was broadcasting. They let me use a room up front. And uh, she has um, Pilates. She has a Pilates machine, right? Oh, so machine. She does. Yeah. Well, she does. Yeah, she does Pilates and she does uh, Yin yoga, and uh, uh, and I don't know what else. But but I was wondering, did how does the Kundalini does the Kundalini show up in like what you do, like in your book, like Kundalini yoga, like is there something that the like does the frequencies or is there something in there it's probably part of you now i guess part of your makeup yeah because it it, it, what we what weaves into the chakras it weaves into well everything your your kidneys your your liver every every week we do something different so it's all woven into every single cell of your body really some work toes to work on the blood, the circulation, um, the vagus nerve, which is the big largest nerve in the body, which is your wandering nerve. If you've got a busy vagus nerve, your mind's all over the place, and we need to tame that vagus nerve. How do so you do that? How do you tame the vagus nerve? Through the breath. You could do these different types of breath. There are so many different types of breath. So it's just you can do alternate nostril breathing. Or you can do breath of fire from the abdomen, which really does tame it because doing the breath of fire, it puts that fire in your belly and then it moves that energy up through the Kundalini coil, the spring that sits in the base of the spine, which because we're sitting and driving and computerizing and doing shows like this, the energy gets very stagnant. So we we have to move that, but we tame everything through the breath. There must be about 20 different types of breath that I know of. Wow. Which I could teach people about that too. Yeah. If they're interested. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you know, I, I think there's, or at least for me, I would think it's with a lot of people, but um, mm-hmm. over the years, I mean, like I remember breath work, not like some of the more extensive ones, but just basic mm-hmm. breath work. I still use what I learned at 22. 
Mm-hmm. And it was very important. I had two Kundalini experiences, one at 23 and one at 24. Or no, they were like right around the same time. But uh, and I and I know that it was due to the meditation, the breath, the the mm. the type of breathing I was doing every night, right? Mm. I, I figured that's what happened because it scared the hell mm. out of me, and I just kind of shut it down. But now, mm. all these years later, as the body thing was happening, as we got into la- into last year and into this year, I've been focusing more on that. And I just learned one the other day, and it was it was such a silly. Um, I say silly. It looked funny. You know, like somebody will show you something. Well, I don't want to do that. That looks stupid. Uh, yeah. And it was so, but it was so simple. And I mm. tried it and it worked. And it was a, it was a, it was a quick little exercise where when you start to, you know, you start to get, you know, a little bit off kilter, mm. like something kind of like, and, and it was just this, you take in this breath or I'm through your nose. And then right when and you're done, and then before you do anything else, you take another one in real quick. And the yeah. guy explained it, and it opens up the little things in your lungs, and then they expand. And then when you take the next one in, it does it even more, and then you let it out through the mouth. And I'm telling you, two or three of those, and boom, my heart rate, boom, just come right down. Mm. You, know? you change the energy, the flick of a switch, mm-hmm. really, mm-hmm. just by the breath. Uh, just breathing into the brain, you know, just we'll do unconscious breathing. But if you just breathe, take it higher, you can actually just and hold it and suspend it and just lift the ribs and then breathe out through the nose. You can just instantly feel the change. Yeah. And well, it's just amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah. And that's what I was saying is like, there's some things that we could easily do that we, don't like asking for help, uh, like uh, breathing mm. exercise. Because breathing exercises, you don't have to go through any visualization or meditate. No, you just, no, 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 you know, no. especially yeah. first thing in the morning. You know, sort of just stepping out of bed and getting your coffee, whatever you do, or your juice, whatever. Just stop and consolidate the breath, and just give gratitude to the breath, and just think, well, I've been breathing unconsciously all night. My heart's been doing all the things that your whole body has, is just give gratitude to the breath. And and all you have to do is just consciously breathe. And that even that changes the energy of the connotation of your day. Yeah. Yeah. What Little things. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. And think sorry. what can I give to the day opposed to wonder what the day will bring. Yeah. <clears throat> Tuning in. <laughs> Tuning in. Well, it's the, li- anything, really. the yeah. little things, right? Like the little mm-hmm. things. Like mm-hmm. I've been doing most of the time gratitude affirmations before I get out of bed. I saw Dr. Wayne Dwyer do it, and I thought, I'm going to try oh, this. I love them. Yeah. Love yeah. Them. And uh, I started doing it last year when I was in Arkansas still. And, uh, mm-hmm. and I noticed it changed my, you know, I do like 10, 12, 15 minutes, and I noticed it. I noticed the change. Mm. And now, you know, like, I, I guess what I'm saying is like a little, just a little, 15 minutes here, breathing exercise. Yeah. Yeah. The breathing exercise I was talking about takes less than a minute. Mm. And he said, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's one of his. Well, I think perspectives are altering very quickly. Prejudices, judgment, biases are going away or not being tolerated or being put mm-hmm. back on you really loud and so that mm-hmm. that that you know that has to make a difference in the way people see things and if they're seeing things different in a quantum thought realm then obviously we're going to see some changes and maybe that's what we're seeing now i know y'all have had some changes over there didn't they pull back all the mandates and everything pull back yeah with the covid didn't in england didn't they oh. Put them back uh, again or pull them. I thought you said pull them back. You mean put well, them back? Well, not put them back. Uh, I mean, that's American language. Bring them back uh, again. Oh, they're bringing yeah, in 15 they, minutes. Didn't they, they rescinded them all. Didn't they rescind them all? They, they, you could. You don't have to have a uh, vax passport. You don't have mask and all that, right? And didn't I don't know anything. <laughs> oh, you don't. See, that's good, though. I'm a that's a good thing. <laughs> And that was actually that was actually I think three or four months ago. Back off, back off. 
<laughs> I, lo I love these high frequency women that use the F word. But I they use, they say the mind fuckery, don't they? they <laughs> yeah, the mind fuckery. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. It's when I started doing this, uh, <laughs> and I used to get a few, because I did, I dropped a few F bombs early <laughs> that I don't do so much now, but, mm -hmm. and, pe and I would get these, uh, I'd get messages sometimes. I feel bad too. Uh, you know, and, an and, and now it's funny because now, like, here we are, like, seven years later, and you know, it's like the last year, year and a half, these, these you know, these high frequency women like you come out here and they'll just drop one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but they're trying to get us with the 15 minute cities now. So, mm. the uh, do you have a little more time? Are you, are you yes, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you mentioned value, and that's one of the yeah. chapters. And, um, um, yeah, finding your there's value. So many, yeah, there's so many ways to look at this mm -hmm. thing, but boy, mm -hmm. the, the the value. I know that's been huge for me. That's it was a big step for me to say, you know what, um, I can't do this anymore. Uh, I I'm not going to ask anymore. Uh, I'm going to, you know, do something else. I'm not knowing what I was going to do, and then, you know, hey, this this thing's come together, and you know. I'm going to pay twelve dollars, and, and everyone that wants to be a part of it can do the same thing. It, and and that was for me on a personal level. Not it doesn't have to do with Sology. It has to do because Todd's just a part of Sology. It had to do with Todd's time, and and you know ease and grace, I guess. Uh, and 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 it was it's a statement of value. Mm -hmm. You know that I'm um, a part of. It's not me, but I'm a part of, right? Yeah, and. Even though everybody might not agree with each what each and every one of us says, but it's recognizing that the other person is you. Mm, yeah. In in your book, mm -hmm. what what and that's kind of what I was, but like, what does uh, where does that lead when you're talking about value? Do you are you focusing on like self care? Um, yes, self care. Yeah. What you eat, what you drink, what you think, what what values. Let me just get it open for you. Hold on, chapter nine. What is the value? It's about it's talking about what your status in society is. Where do I see myself in society now? And what can I bring to society to make it better by paying it forward? Which is a lovely, lovely thing. Yeah. What yeah. we take out, we should give back. That's right. That's how the network has mm. been and will be in a big way. I mean, that, that's, but mm. to me, that's a Trinity energy. The Trinity mm. energy is you, you said it, you pay it forward. It's, mm. it's a, it's an energetic gifting. There's mm. no, Hey, pay me this. Cause I gave you that. It's just, no. this is, this is what I give you. And you it's pay it forward. Energy exchange, isn't it? You know, all the time. Yes. So. Yeah. It's, it's aligning with the natural universal, which is everything is always an equal energy exchange. We happen to be in a realm that somebody got a hold of the rules and bent them. Mm. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm uh, doing a lot of exchange work now with people because I do reflexology as well. So mm. people come to me for a reflexology and then they'll, they'll give me a massage or I coach somebody and they'll do my waxing for me. And then and I think this is the way the world's going now. Mm. Yeah. And I know even if I could share this with anyone and everyone, then I can give back to you and we, it all goes around in a circle yeah so it's all yeah. like a cog in the wheel really yeah it's like the the collaborations that occur so whether it be a collaboration of your masculine feminine and mm. golden child in your trinity or it'd mm. be with me and you or then there's a group because we're the all collaboration yeah. it, it, it keeps going like a ripple yeah. is what you're saying yeah yeah it is that's funny you mentioned ripples because when you contacted me, I can't explain it. A ripple of energy went like a triangle all over me. Really? Oh, it was, I've never felt anything like that. Wow. Did it have a color? No, it was just a, just a like a, wow. a shower of energy went straight through me. I, wow, what happened there? You know, it was it was quite unbelievable. Well, it was like this intrinsic. Well, when I knowing. yeah, when I read 
when I reached out to you, um, God, it's so weird how things come to you when you're just talking about them. But so like for a long time, you know, I've, I've always been somewhat involved in the scheduling. Morgan was handling it for a long time. Yeah, uh, the majority of the time. And then her business kind of blew up. So, you know, she, she has her hands full. So it went mm -hmm. back on me and then things change. Right. And, 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 you know, we all know what like 2022 was really, you know, mm. kind of a, a <laughs> fast year. But um, so I started you know, like, how do you, how do you do this? Do you, do you take them in the order they came? Do you reach it? Cause it's always a little bit of everything. But there's mm -hmm. a feel to it. There's an instinct. Mm -hmm. And so whenever I reached out to you, because I'm doing them all, I'm like doing the ones that have been sitting there in the list, you know, just go back. Then there's, an, there's the, you know, like synchronistic moments. And then there's other moments where I'll reach out, which is what happened with you. Because what happened was I saw you. I see you out there. I see everybody, right? We all do. So mm -hmm. I'll see you in the audience you know, you support us that, and, and you know, it, so it, it never leaves. Right. So mm -hmm. I happened to see you, I think it was a post and it just hit me. It's like, I saw the whole story. Like, this is who she is. This is who she is to you. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. And it just came over me and I went, boom. And I reached out. So That's it's good to hear. I, it. I just felt it. It was like, whoa. <laughs> hit me. Yeah. It's like a shower of, Pure, pure um, energy and love. I don't know what it was. It was just it was a bit indescribable, really. Was... Well, I don't know if it was me, but um, but I think what it is pointing to is that this, what has happened to all of us, and I just got to say thank you and to all those like you that have been out there doing this all this time, right? Mm -hmm. Long before mm -hmm. I have. But uh, it's contagious. There's it a, and it says, yeah. It says in this little bit here, I love reading it because it reminds me sometimes. Yeah. It says yeah. all it takes is one decision from everyone on the planet, just one decision, one small act. Yeah. Well, it's the little things, right? Mm -hmm. It's the little things. It's like mm -hmm. we're it's like every moment we have, mm -hmm. I guess you could say it this way, we like what Judah said, walk the talk. Uh we have the uh opportunity to to be in integrity, no matter how big or small it seems. Mm -hmm. And if we do that, or the more and more that we do that, um, we have the we have access to our highest potential, something like that. That's infinitesimal. It's just <laughs> so joyous as well. And it's I only feel at one with myself when I'm talking like this. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Feels good. It's you got good energy. Thank but you. I can feel it for the other's energy. And that's what I was going to say. It's it's. Mm. I noticed it from September. Mm. Uh, I came back from the Sology Fest stuff and and all that, and moving stuff back and forth across the country, mm. whatever. And I landed over here. Yeah, for a period. Then I had to go and come back. But uh, I noticed it in September that people were. That we're coming on, whatever, because you know we have a pretty good range of types, mm. right? Yes. yes. But they all had this one thing going on, which was like this humility and humanness. Mm. And it was like, and I was looking at these mirrors of me and going, just by looking at them, even before they opened their mouth, uh, you could see they've been through the same thing you have. Mm. Like, like you can't fake that. You can't fake shadow work and zero pointing. And, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's like on a staircase to divine divinity, if you like. This is what we're talking about, is the divinity. It's like going on a staircase leading up to it. We all had to experience these hurdles and blocks and <clears throat> abuse, if you like, whether it's physical, mental, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And still being abused. I mean, I, I am from my, my beliefs now. Really? Mm. Even yeah. even living as a hermit, they still find they still find <laughs> still you, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I get a silly message every now and then. It'll be some, you know, mm. your wife's a witch and you're a warlock. And, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I said I wrote the guy. I said, yeah, she is a witch. <laughs> She's a white witch. And don't don't fuck with her. 
<laughs> I think they're the supermarket and, and just go, just smile at everybody, and you know, everybody's like, mm. <laughs> and "Come on, get it, get it on." <laughs> now, is this is this your first book, or have you written before? Second one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what yeah. I thought. Um, who, who, what would you say? Because you have a, I didn't realize you did the reflexology, the in the the yoga and. The, what would you say is uh, what would you say is like your biggest influences, be they people or practices or my biggest influence. pretty, what's that? Wayne Dyer was one of my biggest influences. Yeah. Yeah, he was powerful. He was I've even um, made reference to that in the book. You know, one of my biggest advocates was Wayne Dyer. I had a huge influence. And everybody I listen to on your show has some nuggets to, to give. Yeah. And it, it's all, saying the same thing, but all in a different way. True. Yeah, it's true. Lived it. <laughs> That's mm. that, that thing. But they've all come through with love. Yeah, that, no that's, doubt. That, that's the wonderful, you know, if you carry bitterness with you through your experience, then that's what you'll attract. Is this law of attraction? Yeah. Are you excited? Yes, extremely. Yeah. You know that because I know I know some of y'all been in this a while, and uh, mm -hmm. and you hear a lot of them over the years. They'll come on and be like, "I'm tired. It's about time." You know, but something's a little bit different. Now. That's why I asked you because to mm -hmm. me, like the last mm -hmm. week or so, it, <clears throat> I haven't been this excited. <clears throat> probably in uh, since, since I was traveling around with Morgan, you know, and there was such an unknown aspect to it. It yeah. feels like the, you know, that book, The Celestine Prophecy. Oh yeah, it's my first book I ever read. That's it's like one of my track. first ten, probably. And I was talking to my friend about it today. She's never read it. She's gonna go read it. Oh. It's like, what's going on? What's going on? It's, it's like fine. the Celestine Prophecy. But yeah, yeah, doesn't it feel that way to you? Yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that talks about some... energy all the time, doesn't it? it? Talks about the energy. Well, yeah. Well, it talks about like because it's in a story form, right? So, it, mm -hmm. but it, the way it tells the story, it's like the mm -hmm. atmosphere of that realm is mm -hmm. where we're at now. Like I think these, so. Like, yeah. like, would you be surprised if you like we get off and you go into the kitchen, make yourself some tea, you come out and there's a portal on your wall? <laughs> would you be? I wouldn't be surprised. I think I it's just be, you know, it's just hovering i think the port was just waiting and people are seeing things visually all the time and like is it victoria lilenquist mm -hmm. oh she yeah spaceships and people having these visionary experiences and i'm feeling them and i feel like this yeah. bubble's just waiting to go <sighs> pop now and when I feel did you when did you release it when did the book. when did yeah when did you release it um, few, last year, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, cool. I was going to say something then. I forgot what it was now. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, my my signal has been screwed up for two days. Like it's a lag. It sounds like I'm interrupting okay. everybody. Um. Oh, it's gone. So I don't know. Um, I'll just pause. It'll come back. <laughs> It'll come back. But yes, I'm. I'm just pause ready to go. Oh, I know what it was. It was all, even they've got loads of adversities at the moment and fear things coming in, like um, everything that comes through the door is, I don't know what it's like in America, but it's like mortgage rates are going up every month and every month and every month. And you think, oh God, where's this money all going to come from? I've got another property and how am I going to fund it all? And yet in the midst of all the chaos and all the, everything that's happened, I feel in a very safe space. I feel as though I'm being held just through my belief. Mm -hmm. And feel as though somebody's saying, it's okay, it's okay, just hang on in there. Like you say, it's, everything's yeah. about to, I'll say, explode. But, um, yeah. Well, there, there's so many ways to detect the, the difference. Like if you go back, <clears throat> you know, three years, five years, seven years, <clears throat> excuse me, um My throat they had that, yeah, <laughs> exactly they, they had uh they would have that you would go to the news feed and would say um 
this is a message from our two rooms, or this is a message from the Pleiadians. And I'm not taking away, anything away from anybody. I'm just trying to make a point. And, mm-hmm. and it would it would always say, hang on. I know it's tough. Hang on a little bit longer. Da, da, da. I don't see those as much anymore because I think mm-hmm. we've moved past that. We don't need to wait anymore. And I think that's kind of what's met us in 2023. Yes. We just, we just, yeah. We just We're in the haven't bubble. been through. Yeah, we haven't been through it before, so we were, you know what I mean? We're, we're, we're still expecting to see some things that aren't going to be coming around anymore. Mm. You know, be they loops or, you know, because there's a lot of stuff leaving us, like uh, forgiveness. If we get, you yeah. know, as we keep, we keep diminishing our judgment, we, our understanding becomes greater that we're all on the same program and there's nothing to forgive because no one did anything wrong. Right. And if they did, you know, the karma, the universe has its equal energy exchange and it will give you what you want or ask for. Yeah. yeah. And everything's being revealed now as well. All the rubbish is being revealed. All the things that have been hidden. It's all coming to the surface now. Yeah. I think mm. it's going to uh, go a lot deeper than we think it is. Like, I mean, I think. We know there's certain things that have gone on. We can talk about COVID. We can talk yeah. about child trafficking. We can talk about the Vatican. Everything. We can talk about all kinds of stuff. Everything, but I have, yeah. a, I have a feeling it goes way beyond that. And mm-hmm. by the same token, so do we. Mm-hmm. Like, so do we. Like, whatever it is, mm-hmm. you know, it's not bigger than us. But there is something bigger than all of us. Yeah. And all the ancestral history that we've carried with us mm-hmm. within our genes, I think it's all coming to rest. Yeah. Yeah. It's so where do people space. where do people find your book? On Amazon. Or, on Amazon. I think I sent you a couple of links actually. One for UK, one for dot com. I did send them to you on the you probably, um, on on uh, oh yeah. Hang on. So if you put those up, that'd be great. We had a. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. <laughs> oh, I'm somebody else. Oh, there I see it. So there's one for UK. Oh, I see it. Okay. So one for dot com, one for UK. Okay, here's the. Uh, Thank you for that. Wait a minute. And if everybody, yeah. if anybody wants to just drop me a message that they bought it personally, I'll make sure I'll keep a record and then send the. You promise? know what? It, it's, I mean, whatever you want to do is, and we certainly appreciate it, but you know what? I I just want to see, uh, are you there? Oh, yes, I'm, having pro- I'm, ha- I'm having problems again. I, can't, I don't know what is going on with my electronics today. It's mm-hmm. been crazy. But uh, yeah, I just want to see, you know, people, you know, that's what this whole thing is about. You know, like when she downloaded that in 08, I mean, a platform to share. And, and, you know, mm-hmm. we were talking about that on the previous show. We talked a little bit about the network and, uh, you know, bigger is not always better. I mean, you've been doing this a long time. You have people that resonate with you and, you, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a consciousness, right? And um, mm-hmm. it, it, I think we'll be amazed at how little collaboration and support that we'll end up doing in regards to how much abundance comes from it. it, it it's like mm. tenfold. Mm. It's like t- it's like sowing the seed, and we talk about the you know the mantras, sowing the seed, and we do we're doing this. <laughs> it's the um, it's, it's it's grounding yourself, and it's 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 you know just sowing the seed because the seed will flourish, and this is what solar years it's just the seed that's going to flourish into the lotus flower of yeah the love of life yeah like all of us um mm. did you want to take us through something what, what were you gonna yeah do? Take it's us through the um, it's the mantra of protection mantra of protection it's called the mangal sharon it's some um, seek is your is your accent? What is your accent? Is it English? It's English. Yeah. Okay, because you got like a little thing on the end, and it's really cool. 
<laughs> I didn't know if that was like a touch of something else. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah, this is cool. So this is a mantra. I'm going to turn my mic mute. I'm going to mute. Mm -hmm. Those were the two cards I picked out tonight of my faith and beauty for all of us tonight. Have faith. Keep the faith. Now, where do you get those cards? Those are cool. Oh, I've just got them. I, when people come to me for a treatment, I always ask them to take a card. And yeah. I've picked a couple out tonight for us. And faith then what was beauty. funny as well, just funny, it was I, when I put the sweater on, it said soul looks. <laughs> I thought, so oh, my. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Made me laugh. I thought I'd chill up. So the um, Mangala Sharan is, is mantra for protection. So if once everybody wants to put their hands onto the heart, it's about bowing to the primal wisdom. And this can be chanted at any time, any place, whenever there is a need for protection, especially before you get in your car. Uh, it's a practice for clearing the past, the present and the future. And it's suggested that chanting this mantra three times after you've started your car, before shifting out of neutral, setting off to prevent any incidents on the road, you become surrounded by a field of light. So, so oh, it's very simple. It's just um, Ad Gurena Me, Jagod Gurena Me, Sat Gurena Me, Siri Guru Devena Me, meaning I bow to the primal wisdom, I bow to the wisdom through the ages, I bow to the true wisdom. And I bow to the great unseen wisdom. And it's just, I'll just sing it through for you. It's just, um, Ad Gurena Me, Jigad Gurena Me, Sad Gurena Me, Siri Gurda Avina Me. And we normally sing that three times. So mm. that's the power. That's sweet. That's sweet. Do you make videos? Sometimes, yes, I do. I do. Um, I do oh, them about my, my books. That's well on, on my... <laughs> yeah, that's that's really sweet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I could see like little, you know, like I don't know. I, I'm always thinking about stuff like this, but like you know, like a one minute, ninety second, you, and because like the mantra and the tone of your, you know, it just speaks for itself. You, you don't even need you don't even need an explanation you know what i mean um i hope it reached you how, <laughs> yeah it's nice yeah how how um how long have you been doing the yoga thing oh or, i've only been teaching it um a year about a year now but i've been studying it for about five years and i was guided to it again just before um all this happened so it was part of the nature of where my journey was going so everything links through to delivering it um online and then i do physical classes and then through the book it talks about the yoga in there so everything is integral of what i'm my offering is really now and it's something i can do for the rest of my life because i used to teach arabics and be tearing about all over the place and you've been physically out. active for the whole time <laughs> I used to be active. and then you, uh, yeah i go into more mindfulness now and different things and but still, like it, as far as mm. but like as far as like disciplines and schools of thought uh, is it uh zen hindu like your influences uh, hindu. 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 Yeah. hindu yeah it's through the sikh um sikh. it goes yeah. back thousands of years yeah but it, it took me a couple of years to study it um yeah it's about timing isn't it when the time is right when the students ready the teacher appears in life and then this came to me when i was thinking well what's next what's next what's next so it's something i was studying through the time we were the word, i hate the word lockdown um mm. but it's something that came through me and was taught to me given to me really and i feel it intrinsically that it's got it's got to come through mm. yeah so <laughs> it's a wonderful thing all this communication well, I mean, I, I've not, uh, that's one of the, 
things I, I never really, I mean, I studied a lot of the religions around the world, a lot of the, you know, things over the years in my twenties and into my thirties, I never spent too much time, not with the comprehensive book, like the, the Vedas and, or whatever they, the, you know what I mean? But I have, I have researched enough over the years to be familiar enough to know there's some extraordinary things there. Um, yeah, the know, Course in Miracles is great because it's non-denominational. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like, I th what I'm trying to say is I think if we had done this right, let's put it that way, the Hindu text would have been in every one of our educations mm. because there's mm. fascinating material in there. And it's not just the, mm. the, uh, the different uh, yoga uh, streams mm. that came out of it, but... That some um, of the information in there, the history, uh, it it has a lot of code in it as to what's happened on this earth. And, and yeah. you know what I mean? And a lot of the moves with the Kundalini as well is all related to animals. So we do the frog, we do everything, you know. And and so animals are just, they just are, aren't they? And we've just got to just be. Because animals just they don't think about, oh, what they're going to have to eat today, what they, what they do, because they have to go out and hunt it. But it's like, they just are, oh, they're just living their life how mm -hmm. they're supposed to be. Whereas we're too much thinking logically about, oh, we've got to do this, got to do that, got to be seen to do this, got to, not so much now, but in the past, you know, when we went from corporate to spiritual, if you like, um, on the spiritual path, we are just being now, as opposed yeah. to doing. We're human yeah. beings, human doings, <laughs> if you like. Yeah. Yeah. And it's taken us a long time to. It has. You know, but, but you know, the thing is, it's not a slight against us. And I think that's one thing that's changing too. Yeah. We're starting to have a respect for ourselves and our journey yeah. together, you know, because I, I know, I mean, I, I remember when I reawoke. Uh, 11 years ago or 12, whatever it is. And that's what I would hear all the time. They'd be like, don't think, just be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't think. And I still get in trouble with that. You know, I'll hear something. I'll be like, what? Why? Who? <laughs> don't think, mm -hmm. just do it. Just be. And it, like, you shouldn't, ber shouldn't berate yourself either. I shouldn't say. No, we've stupid. done enough of that. You've know, really got to embrace this wonderful life that we have because Man, it is one of the wonderful yeah. facets to it. We're going to miss it. I think we're going to miss it because I think it's such a, such a huge range of possibilities, experiences, potentials. Um, but on the new earth, it, we won't be living. We won't be no. thinking about that. We'll no. just That's what I mean. telepathically uh, yeah. and, intuitively we'll, we'll, we'll know instinctively what the other person person needs what we'll need ourselves how we exchange no bs um, no none no effery <laughs> i'm getting i'm getting all censored now no effort i'll say it if you um, want to i <laughs> know i would i don't like um, i just want to be respectful everyone but um yeah that's what i was saying though um yeah whatever that was <laughs> can't remember now well so show us your book show okay. us your book again and uh let me put the uh yeah I don't know which side I'm on. here let me get off let me let me do this hang on boom yeah there we there go. go everybody finding your divinity yeah oh i bet that felt good to finish that book it did it did it did and so um, it's on amazon yeah, soul searching questions to ask yourself at this current time. Yeah. And did some you, love, with love. Did you um, feel, uh, uh, how did you feel when you finished? How did that feel? I felt quite complete in myself because I'd actually followed the narrative in the book. And every time I do a little bit of coaching alongside, I learn a bit more, I go a bit deeper. So it's just taken us a bit deeper into the sole purpose really hmm. 
Do you know people like you in the community? Like I'm talking about in the local over there uh, where you're at. Very few. Yeah. Very few. Yeah. Yeah. I've lost uh, people have fallen by the wayside quite a lot. Hey, don't um, feel like the Lone Ranger. <laughs> no. That's what I say. It's just great to just link in with this sort of energy, just so inspirational. Mm. Well, I think y'all are the ones that do this because, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it, it, God, how do you, I mean, you exude what 80%, what really started this whole thing back then, you know, all these groups have been 80, 90% women and they've just got that warmth, mm -hmm. that true, the, the love and care thing going. And, uh, mm -hmm. it just neutralizes. It's just a love coming back or something. I can't really explain, but it, it's always a pleasure to uh, sit with people like you. Thank uh, you. I always that come is... away expanded. <laughs> always. It's good to know. It's and like we've given the green light, uh, really, isn't it? We've given the green yeah. light. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, we've been talking about this the last few days. And, and uh, mm. yeah, it's like she, she, the energetic she, right? I mean, she... There's a reason she's coming out now, that she that we were talking about, that, that you wrote the book towards, right? Like, that's what you're talking about. There's a reason your book came out now. There's a reason that we're seeing right now. Yes. so yeah. many of these, like even on the show, they're, they're coming out tonight. We have a show with a transgender gra uh, grandmother. Um, it's this feminine thing that got suppressed that you're speaking to in this book. And... Um, but there's a reason it's happening now. And I believe that the reason is because energetically it's safe to come out now. It's about nurturing the feminine nurturing. Nurturing. Mm. And um, yeah, <laughs> I think I've written a, an, an acronym of nurturing. Nurt mm. um, oh, uh, one of the chapters is called Understanding You about the nurturing. So it's nurturing. Hold on a minute. Oh, Thank unique. You, Being unique. <laughs> so the U was for understanding you. The N was for the nurturing. The I is for the intuition, your inner net. Inner net. Mm. Internet. Mm. Q was for questions we ask ourselves. U was for the underneath, what lies underneath our inner consciousness and the E was for emotional intelligence about the key elements about the self-awareness and the self-regulation empathy so there's a lot in there you know there's a lot of nuggets in there that really unearth this trueness really of who, of who we want to be allowing ourselves and in the Kundalini we go into the awareness as well and it is the yoga of awareness and it's creating that space within us to let all the stuff come in, let the right stuff come in. Right. You know. How um, long did it take you to write the book? How many chapters is there? I'm just curious. Well, there's 12 steps in it, so I call it a 12-step program, really. And I did have a block for a while where I okay. didn't do anything and I thought, oh, is this really, again, you know, is what really people want to hear? But I, then I kept getting a tap on the shoulder and thinking. And I had a book angel in South Africa, full enough, where Judith lives. And she really? was amazing. And she really encouraged me. Yeah. She was called a book angel. Um, through the... Because I went on a course called the WOW book course, even though I'd written a book already. Um and they had these book angels that could help you to sort of edit it and put it together because I was thinking, oh, I'm going to bring it all together because I've got all the ideas. And then she made it so easy for me. She was going, well, this is what you do and that's what you do and, and this is how we get on Amazon and and they'll print it for you. And, and Right, thought, oh, right. So you did it through... Easy uh, on yourself, you know, <laughs> hard on yourself. You, you self-published through Amazon. Yeah. Is that what you, yeah. 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 Create space. I think they used to call it create space. Yeah. That's, well, that's say good. self create, but it's still it's still been published through a company. So they they actually authorized yeah. it. 
yeah. Yeah, they just take the they they take all the steps out of it, which is cool. Yeah, which is you cool. Know, I see people. Yeah, I see people all the time. Like, I got to find a publisher. I'm like, I'm not, I don't know how that all works. Don't mm -hmm. don't ask me. But mm -hmm. but I'm like, well, you know, you can you can actually get a pretty good product doing it, kind of doing it yourself. Yeah, it's it's I just mean, quite easy when you know what you need to do. <laughs> anything really so <laughs> like riding a bike. <laughs> what are your what are your plans <laughs> for the rest what are your plans for 2023 interesting question good question just linking in with more like-minded people and just don't put up with the bullshit just rise above it you know like soaring like an eagle look down on what's happening opposed to mm. be in the midst of what's happening is to fly your wings and keep expanding more of what I'm doing, really. And if I can, been, go ahead. If I can make a go difference ahead. to anyone and everyone, I will. If I can do podcasts. I don't really know how to use YouTube very well. I'd like to probably get myself out there. But, again, the energy that's been suppressed, again, with that has put me off. So linking in um. with this with you is just a different connotation it's a different energy yeah. well the 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 streamings it's not it's it's really not that it you know i mean there's different levels of it but if you just were going to go youtube or facebook um mm -hmm. it would be and, and now with the multi-stream services you can get a multi-stream service for 20 bucks a month and you can do both of them at the same time so you just go and set it up once and you're good to go but, but, you know, and I've helped a lot of people over the years with it. I think it's a great uh, vehicle because it because I think the the live and the video at frequencies that we don't we hadn't normally been accustomed to. So you have you have all the ones we had, plus you have. Uh, and uh, but it's like everything else. The more you do it, the better you get. Yeah, it's the tech that holds me back. I just need someone to help me, really. And. Because I'd like to do a little show called The Wake Up Call. Mm. It's been on my mind for a couple of years. And <laughs> Tell me about it. What would it be, The Wake Up Call? Like a like a talk show or would it? Yeah, like a, just um, a chat show. Um, like you say to people, when did you wake up? What you know, I want to talk to people about what woke them up. Oh, and cool. The reason Very for cool. Um, need well, a help. I've, I've got some... Uh, stuff i've written on launching something like that but because i've given it to a lot of people so um i just went ahead and <laughs> put it on my notepad and copy and paste it but I, i'll be happy to help you it's it's not a time consuming thing for me i it's just a you know hey let's here's here's the nuts and bolts you don't need to make the mistakes i made and here's how it all you know it's not it's really not that complicated the biggest thing i see with people is they get more concerned with how it looks, the promo. You know, I'm not saying not to do that stuff. I'm just saying the camera they have. I'm going people write me, what camera do you use? I'm like, man, I use my phone. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. like the whole point is just to get it out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, not to, I mean, in other words, regardless of what level of tech and appearance you have, uh, you know, all the way around, the focus is, I mean, I learn all the time. I learn every day. And and I've been thinking about this. I was thinking about this yesterday. I was talking to the lady uh, on the previous show because it was kind of the same conversation. I was like, you know, I think I'm going to put something together to help people. And not, not this is how you do it, but this has been my experience. If you want to do this, this is my experience. Because I, most of the people I've that I've assisted and some that I've watched most of them go like this. Mm -hmm. and, and and from my experience, it's because they're focused on what's it going to look like? Where's the lighting? Is my shirt ring? You know, rather than... Does my bum look I, Yeah. Well, I didn't... I talk... I've always been a talker, but I've changed. And I still talk, but I mean... But, uh, yeah, that's one thing that Morgan infused. And which is what? Mm -hmm. A feminine quality right mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. to hold space and listen so uh, i think a lot of people and, and and there's a nervousness too you know and when people get nervous they talk and, and i'm just like everyone else but but if i had to tell anybody anything it would be 
you know, make your list of what you're going to do and all that. But number one priority, the best, the best, you know, back in the day when I was back in the old world, they would say the best salesman is the best listener. And I think that goes mm -hmm. for um, this type of thing too, a really this, relations period. Yeah. Yeah. This thing's an art, isn't it, in itself? Hmm. It is an yeah. art. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, life I, is. Right? Yeah. Life and I, I emphasize to people to really listen to what that person's got to say because. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tough, It's that's been a tough one for me over the year. I mean, since I was a little, yeah. Sorry, I remember. I'm, mouth. <laughs> I know this. This thing's. Going, yeah. Well, it's been ninety minutes. We're good anyway. Okay. But yeah, I, I really, I really enjoyed it. I, I, I really appreciate your uh, humility and your, you know, your authenticity. I mean, you're, you're the real deal. You're one of the other, you know, so many of them, like the Judas and OGs, okay. original goddesses. Thank and, you. Uh, thank God y'all came back and to kick us in the ass. <laughs> thank you for holding it all together that's all i can say from the heart thank you so much and thank you thank you for coming in and sharing yeah thank you love and i'd love you. to get together yeah i'd love to get together again with you later in the year um, sure. so sure. if you're open to it so uh finding my divinity i put the the links up i i would tell you judy you probably want to go back to my page on facebook and on youtube soul g1 studios channel and just kind of you know, there'll be people asking questions. I know they will. Um, and just kind of, you know, check them out and stay with it for three or four days. And you probably get you some books, you know, out the door. <laughs> Thank you. And good luck with all everything that you're doing. And Thank you. I'll be in touch. I'll be in touch about yeah. on that subject as well. God bless everybody. Take care.